everyone, and welcome to Autzen Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks and the House of Loud, a place where great teams go to die. This is not your run-of-the-mill regular season game. Instead, it is a top 10 clash, one team hoping to make a giant statement. As we'll see, the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the fourth-ranked team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. Fielded in the end zone. It's Robinson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Ducks will have some work to do after that short return. Mentally, this QB is on his game. Grabbed over the middle. It's James. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. The Ducks are in the hurry up. He wants to pass it on second down. Dances away. And that pass picked off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. It's a defense that prides themselves on taking the football away. They believe they could impact this game with turnovers and they get an interception on the opening drive. It wasn't a big return, but that doesn't matter. They stole a possession and that is huge for their confidence. This crowd full throat splitting the eardrums and letting going to be a long day. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still... And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Georgia! Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go but they got the points they needed. Fielded in the end zone, it's Robinson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive, David. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. Ball start, Ball start. offense. Ball start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line gets set, first down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. To the air, it's Gabriel. Buys a little time with his feet. Gets the toe down, but didn't go forward at all. They're just trying to sneak the back out to the right side there, but great job tackling on defense against a guy who's hard to bring down once he has the ball in his hand. Second down coming up. Easy. 
He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make the catch. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They moved the chains, they marked it at the 29. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Looking to throw it again. Oh, he's going to try. And the pass hits, picked off. He'll try to take it back at the 20. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, dogs! The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Coming out with it, it's Robinson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. The Ducks will hustle for the line. Quarterback will audible. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. When you're on defense and you get to play outside linebacker, it's about as good as it gets, right? I get to rush the passer just like this and put him on the ground. Then I get to cover in space. I get to move all over the place. Great job by the outside linebacker. The most fun position to play in college football. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. And the Bulldogs have it in scoring position on first and goal. Looking to throw, it's back. Unleashes to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Well, they're leading by two possessions offensively, and that could have been a game-changing play right there. That's a throw the quarterback would like to have back. He's very lucky that was not intercepted. Looking for the score. Throw into the end zone. And it's picked off. They bring him down, but that great defensive play might be overturned. Let's see what the call is. They'll decline the penalty here, and the result of the play stands. Looking for a productive play on first down. The back goes in motion. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. He makes the catch. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. The Ducks keeping this defense off balance. They can hit them from a variety of angles, this time going up top. There's so many things to look at. You know, they've always traditionally gone fast as well in the pass at Oregon, but, you know, the quarterback run and the run up the middle and then play action pass, they keep you guessing a lot, and they make a lot of plays down the field because your eyes are focused on something they shouldn't be focused on. Ready, 
After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And it's picked off for the third time today. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, the defense there did an awesome job forcing the lefty run to the left. And as a result, they got him off schedule. They got him out of his rhythm. Just wasn't on the same page with his intended target. The defense comes away with a massive turn. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down here at the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. Fighting off the defender. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Georgia comes quickly to the line. Trying to show their strength with the run on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Line gets set, first down. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Looking for a crease, it's James. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. Got out of trouble. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is a career game for this linebacker. You don't see a lot of linebackers get two picks in a game, but this guy's done it. He's done an outstanding job in zone coverage and in man. And he's showing his coaching staff he's got pretty good ball skills, too. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Back to the ground with the running back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Quick step and go. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Trying to run, it's Robinson. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Got some room in at the goal line. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. So that scoring drive took only six plays. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. 
He'll bring it out. It's Whittington. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good, really pre-snap, David, making sure they're... Brings it in down the left side. He's off to the races. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Oregon! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. When you can run like that, the quarterback is going to give you opportunities. And look at him run by the defenders. QB sees it, stick the hand up in the air, catch the football, get to the end zone. And the extra point is good. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Inside the 20, chance for a good return. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Offense gets set for second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag beside the quarterback, and this might be a roughing call. A late hit moves the ball up 15 yards. Three yards, first down for the offense after that penalty. Looking to throw, it's back. Avoids pressure. And the defense is there. He got away for a second, but not for long as they knock him down for a loss. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. Fast motion from the offense. The play action fake. That's caught. It's ETN. Ripping through the defense. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. So it's not just a strong running game. The dogs can be dangerous with those weapons up top. And I think when you've seen Georgia really dominate in college football over the last several years, it's because they've been more aggressive. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Georgia! How about the renaissance of the tight ends? In line, flexed out, split out. They can do a little bit of everything. They really can. They're asked to block a lot of the times, too. But I'll tell you what, all the wide receivers out wide, the fancy toys, the fancy spread, don't forget about that tight end. He does a little bit of everything. And then you reward the big fella, throw him the ball, and he catches. So he really can do a little bit of everything in an offense. He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. That's the kind of mistake that throws off your game plan, come out of the end zone, and you're stopped at the eight. Okay, 
The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up? Catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. They'll run play action. Now adjusting. He's going to run it. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. And the Ducks headed quickly to the line. Movement on the offense, and they'll lose five yards on the penalty. Ball start, Ball start offense. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Two running backs alongside the quarterback. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Buys a little extra time. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. Trying to make magic with his feet. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. First and ten, the whole menu of you can run the football, you can do whatever you want. You can tell they call a pass. He does a really good job in the pocket, just being a great athlete. Scramble outside, go get another first down, first and ten again. They pick up half of it, it'll be second and five. Stuck with a running game on first down, now here they come again. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Makes the catch. It's Whittington. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Here they come on third down, and the defense has had no answer so far. They'll try to get the first through the air. He spins that thing down the middle. And they almost had another one. Rare is the occasion when you're happy to see fourth down, but it's better than throwing another pick. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? On fourth down, looking to pass. This time, it's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He wants to throw. Pulls it in. It's Whittington. Finally brought down at the 31. It's a pickup of 15 yards on the play, and they've got a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. He'll throw it. And that is his fifth interception. If he comes out to try for six, he'll be lucky. Well, and that's a throw the quarterback, I think, has got to make, right? He's a left-handed quarterback. He's rolling to his left, so this should feel comfortable for him. It just wasn't an accurate throw. The defense comes away with the pick. Off the play fake on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's ETN. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage, but you know I got a guy when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. Off the play fake. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. 
Well, even though that pass was incomplete, I wouldn't be shocked if this defense in the second half decides to play some deeper coverages. This offense has already shown they're willing to be aggressive, and they've got a lot of speed. Moving forward, this defense cannot afford to give up big plays in the passing game. To the air. It's back. He's not afraid to go deep. He's got it down the left. And he's going to score. Touchdown, dogs! Number 86. And I, and I love this offense, man. Stick. Just because you got the lead, you know people can score points in bunches. This offense keeps the foot on the accelerator, scores again on the final play. Now this offense has even more of a cushion going into halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. Looking for daylight from inside his 20. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Almost intercepted, it'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Yeah, nice coverage, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. And it's usually because of their lack of hands, like you just saw. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. What a cut. Now he's loose. You know, I got to tell you, as an offense, moving forward in this game, third and long, you're going to have to push the ball downfield a little bit more. you got to throw to the sticks and give yourself a chance to convert these third downs. The offense failed to convert on fourth down earlier, but that didn't change their thinking here. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. The definition of four down territory has changed over the last few years. It extended into their own territory there. Anywhere, everywhere, just look at the card, right? That card's supposed to tell us what to do, but nah, maybe I'll go for it anyways. This offense took a little bit of a gamble, but they get the first down, nothing to worry about. Finds a man on the left, and they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge
And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Looking downfield, it's back. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Just missed on the connection, incomplete. And you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. And you don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Honestly, third and one, I think you just run the ball. You just trust in your own guy's ability to be more physical, win the line of scrimmage, and go get that yard. Now with the sack, they're going to have to Wanting to move the chains, here comes Georgia on fourth down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. They got him! It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. The offense set for a first down play. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. He just throws it away, and I think the flag's going to be coming in. The there it is. Run, run, run. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Got Here comes the offense on second down. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Looking for a gap. It's James. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Ducks want to crank the tempo. Showing the arm strength to the left. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Going back to the well, another deep ball. Trying to take it back. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say this guy's going to be getting a helmet sticker. That now his second interception of the game. He has just been lights out here today. Out of the gun. The running back has it. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. To throw, it's back. Zings it complete to the right. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. He's going to pass. He's got his man. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the beatdown has ensued. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing, he's working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anymore. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. 
Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I, I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, we should have ran a better route. Wants to throw on second down. Using his feet to buy time. Man, that's so frustrating. And it happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down. He's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed. So hard to stop. Wants to throw on third. Grab behind the line. It's James. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. And now they have to make a call. The offense stays on the field. Maybe they'll try to make the defense jump. They also might try to run it ahead for one yard. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Line gets set, first down. Use the play fake now to throw. Still looking on the move. Quarterback. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. There's always such a fine line between playmaking and being reckless, right? Like right there, that, at some point, that becomes reckless. And you take yourself out of scoring position where you're guaranteed to possibly get three points. Now you're fighting a totally different battle. Fires a bullet, now it's picked off. Couldn't find much breathing room to return it, but the interception has this offense in business at the 27. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Now the play fake. He slings it deep to the left. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. This should be the last play of the quarter. Looking to pass, it's Gabriel. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Pass on the way, it's picked off! And he is brought down, but what a way to finish this quarter with the pick. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear... What kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats? Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. Makes the grab inside the 30. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, Georgia! And the pummeling has started. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all. Oh, look at this. The kicker's going to run it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. 
One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move it. And I think the coaching staff can help him, too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. He'll fire to his right. Only toast to coverage. Got it deep downfield. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Motion from the offense. Off play action on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's holding. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The Ducks want to move quickly. The run from the shotgun. Nice move to pick up. Just keeps moving. At the 20, he's got space. Touchdown, Ducks! He would not be denied. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He's looking to pass. He makes the grab in the end zone for the two. They're still down huge, but just working on execution. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Smith. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. Throwing right. Finds a man by himself. And he'll be run out of bounds. Piling up some serious yardage totals. After that last big gainer, they'll put it in play. First and 10 from their own 49. Fires left. It's caught downfield. Gets away from one, finds room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The dogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the move, it's back. Gets away from one. Let's it fly. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete. But obviously, they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense. So they're letting it fly. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. They've moved it right to the edge, and they need one more yard for the touchdown on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught in the backfield at CTN. Touchdown, dogs! And the route is on. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. 
He's into the end zone for the two and extends the lead. Gotta love the execution. Not easy to throw down here, but the quarterback made a good read, accurate throw, and they come away with two points. Fielded in the end zone, it's Robinson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wide. Throws into double coverage, and it's picked off. Taking it the other way. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Fires to the wideout. It's in. Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Well, the deep... a massive favor. That's the nicest thing they've done to him all game. They've already picked him off twice. That should have been number three. Got it. And here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. Going for it all. To the end zone and it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Obviously, this game hasn't gone the way they would have liked, but coaches are always looking for positive moments and things that you can build on. How about that young man going out, getting an interception? Yeah, they're being blown out. They're probably not going to win this football game, but that is the type of play that as a coaching staff, you can build on for next week's game. He'll come out throwing on first down. Lofts one high and deep. Snatches it on the run. Right. And he's running in the open. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous party. It's a consolation prize. If you will. Nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggled, and you're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Back to pass, it's Gabriel. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they draw a little closer. That one's gonna get a little star mark beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown, just like that. And that is not the optimal solution there. The kickoff out of bounds, and the offense will have a little bit easier time of things. The field's about 53 yards wide. You gotta kick it between those sidelines, or else you draw the flag. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll start this drive with a pass. Spits it out to the back. That's caught. It's ETN. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. New set of downs after that completion. To the air on first down. Throws to the wideout. Couldn't hang on to that one. This defense has already picked off three passes. Almost had the fourth. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for a man on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Etienne. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one. And they've got enough for the first down. Georgia going up tempo. Looking to pass inside the red zone. It's complete on the right side. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll try to get it in with the run. 
He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. And he was trying to cash in in the end zone in this red zone threat, but it's incomplete. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but like, let's live in this moment and try to be great right here to end the game. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. Just about had the pick in the end zone. Instead, it'll be fourth down. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. Off play action. Hit as he throws. That ball never had a chance. And they'll turn it over on downs. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may <laughs> hurt their comp. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. Blasted as he lets it go. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He's taking a deep shot. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. And he crosses the goal line and gets the touchdown, but way too little, way too late. But they still do count it for six. And a nice touchdown. Continue to fight, continue to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight. Push. Throw to the end zone. Picked off. About to kick it off after Number punching it in for the touchdown. Sets a kickoff. Yes, that's one way to ensure there's no return as the kickoff goes out of bounds. Free kick, Free out, kick of out of bounds. Kicking team. Kicking team. Looks like a penalty on the kickoff as the ball goes out of bounds. A first down for the offense. He's looking to throw it. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. It's him in stride inside the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the stomping has commenced. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. How about this? A two-point conversion coming. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Dumps it to the back. And a dangerous pass there, almost threw a pick in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 15, here's the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you... And he intercepts it. Looking for more room. He's at the 40. And they capitalize not only on the pick...
give the offense tremendous field position. Heat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. Georgia comes quickly to the line. Looking to throw on second down. Fires toward the end zone. And it's a touchdown. It is also a play in which there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Okay, Let's see what they've got on second down. Six, nine, one. Gators over, over, over. Last He's looking to throw. He'll take another shot here. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. Oh, he missed it. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. back to work on offense. Well, this has pretty much been an evisceration, an old-fashioned stomping, Jesse. Yeah, and, and listen, this is one of those games where well, they're not necessarily uh, throwing the playbook in the trash after this one, but I do think this coaching staff, David, really has to be honest with themselves and rethink what schemes are working and not working and which guys maybe need to get more touches in this offense. Well, I think I like the trash option as well. Picked off! That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay. Rules and he makes. 